After Travis Scott Astro World 21 tragedy, many people revisited the site. Some people went back and they watch clips from the festival. After watching the clips, many people believe that they saw images that looks demonic. Some people believe that Travis Scott was making signs and symbols which represented him summoning demons at the festival and as such the 10 people who had lost their lives were sacrificed many people believe also that it is just a unfortunate incident that should have never happened and astro world is not the first time it is happening whatever your beliefs are in this many families are still hurting and many people have lost because the reality is a total of 10 people had lost their lives at the astro world 2021 festival and hundreds of others were injured a few days ago, Travis Scott, the festival organizers, and Live Nation had settled one more lawsuit in the Astro World tragedy. And this time around, they settled with the 14 year old family who is John Hilgert. Now, John Hilgert looks to be someone who is fun, energetic, outgoing, someone who would really likes Travis Scott music. And being the, at the age of 14 years old, I mean, who would not want to go to Astro World? And you're going to a festival to have fun with people of your age. What's the worst thing that can happen before, besides someone spilling their drinks on you, you know, your phone getting picked out of your pocket, or something like that. No one was expecting anything to the amount that happened at Astro World. And as such, the families, they're suing. Travis Scott has settled another lawsuit, but many other families are still not happy. And we know that even John Hilgert's family, no matter how many, um, no matter how much money they got, in that lawsuit settlement, they could never ever bring their loved one back. But I bet to them it is some amount of accountability and chances are they may use that money wisely going forward while holding John's memory near and dear to their hearts. Now, Travis Scott evidently is also still hurting a lot from this some people may say no he's not hurting but if you think about it from a logical perspective even if you believe that travis scott had sacrificed people at this festival he did not gain anything from it many people would have liked to see travis scott behind bars but the reality is if travis scott is placed behind bars the promoters of the event and, you know, the organizers, management team, and a slew of other people would also have to be held accountable. Chances are other artists who performed at the festival may also be dragged into that accountability. And other festivals before Astro World, where people have lost their lives, maybe, you know, this would open you know, the gateway for other celebrities to be charged for people losing their lives at their festival as well, right? Because we know how the legal system rolls. Once they start doing something, they're going to go back and look to see who else can we hold accountable for, you know, people's life. And as such, the jury did not find any sense in you know, Travis Scott serving time for what happened at Astro World. But Travis Scott is now blaming the police department for 
releasing the findings of Astro World on the same day that he had his Utopia album launch. Travis Scott and his team believe that it was directly intended to act, to uh, um, negatively affect his Utopia album, right? So we know that Travis Scott hasn't released an album since Astroworld. So many people are looking forward to Utopia. Not just that, he is going to perform out there in um, Egypt. Many people are looking forward to that. But then um, reports came of, you know, the people in Giza, Egypt saying, you know what? Travis Scott, your performance may not align with the Egyptian culture. And as such, there were many contradictory statements about whether this concert would have happened or whether or not it would have happened. There were um, discussions of Travis Scott whenever he's performing live, you know, the symbols and the rituals. And as such, they didn't want it to contradict the identity of the Egyptian culture. However, based on my understanding, everything went on as scheduled for Travis Scott's um, performing at the Pyramid of Gaza, right? So they said that everything was on board and, you know, the, contra the contradictory reports about him not having the show was not factual which means that Travis Scott is going to get to go on and promote his album. Also, you know, perform at other shows, you know, as he used to before Astro, Astro World and after Astro World. But I hope Travis Scott uses the right team of people this time. And I do hope that all parties involved learns something from this not just that because oftentimes we look at these celebrities these promoters and say they have a responsibility concert goers also have a responsibility as well and i believe that parents too have a responsibility when you're sending out a child that is so young ensure that you have a chaperone with them, someone who is much older, someone who is much more experienced about these concerts. Because the reality is, in large spaces such as these, stampedes do happen a lot. Should not, but it does happen because one thing can go wrong, someone panics, believes that something else is happening, and then that can trigger an entire domino ripple effect. And that's all I have to say about that. Let me know what your thoughts are, guys, about Travis Scott settling another another Astroworld lawsuit. Not only that, Travis Scott blaming the police department. Well, not Travis Scott directly, but his team. Blaming the police department for releasing the findings of Astroworld the same day as his Utopia album. Do you believe that they were trying to sabotage his album um, sales? Because I can definitely see where where, and why they would do that. Because again, some people are Christians and once they hear devil worshiping and all of that, and there's this string of conspiracy theories going around, some people are going to believe that you should pay. You should be held accountable and we're going to do everything that we can to ensure that you burn. So I don't believe that it's a possibility. So I want to hear from you guys. And while you're at it, give this video a big thumbs up, share if you care and see you all next time. Bye guys.